Britain for exposing Black Lives Matter's evil war on cops. As liberals' divisiveness on law enforcement and racially charged protests continue, good officers are being sent packing for speaking out against the politically correct left. Here's a case that has literally just happened in Louisiana. Police Chief Skyler Dorr posted on his personal Facebook page about how he believes cops and those in law enforcement are getting a raw deal. He spoke out specifically against former President Barack Obama and the war on my brother sick. White police officer. This is well within his rights as this police chief is frustrated by the killings of white cops by supporters of the Black Lives Matter movement and anti-cop movements that are currently ravaging our country. What does he get in return? A pink slip. Jonesville resident Sharon Stevenson voiced her concerns about Doris comments at Tuesday's town council meeting. After the meeting, Stevenson said while residents may say Dor is a racist, she does not know him well enough to draw that conclusion. It is beside the point, anyway, Stevenson said. My main concern is with everything going on right now, the whole country is hostile. If you are chief of police, why would you want to say something like that? Stevenson said. If he had been just a white American wanting to rant and rave, everybody has their own opinion. But my thought is that when you're in certain positions, you have to present yourself in a certain way. In a time when race seems to be dividing the country, Stevenson said, officials should be tempering their words and encouraging unity. I don't care what he thinks about the president, and I'm sure the president doesn't care either, she said. Our country is in trouble, and we need to be praying. I was hurting, too, when I saw, the news of the Baton Rouge officers killed. I had tears in my eyes. What Mrs. Stevenson fails to realize here is that BLM and Obama are the problems. They caused a racial divide because they are taking isolated events and thinking that they are what normally happens in the world. The facts point to other such realities. Realities like thousands killed from black-on-black -black violence in Chicago, but you never see Obama, BLM, or the liberals there protesting crime, do you? Other residents also pleaded for Doris take down. Jonesville Councilwoman Loria Holland said she first learned of Doris' comments after receiving multiple calls and messages from residents. The town of Jonesville is predominantly black, and I think people were thinking, what about us? Holland said. Dor apologized for his comments and said they came out of frustration after the Baton Rouge shooting, Holland said. Dor told residents at the meeting he knew Baton Rouge police officers personally, Holland said. As a Christian, I forgive him, Holland said. We all say things in the heat of the moment. We all say things we can't take back, and this is just one of those things you can't take back that has affected people in a lot of ways. He said he just got frustrated, and that's understandable, they put their life on the line every day so I can see the frustration. But what would you do with your frustration if something like that happened in Jonesville? Skylar Dorr was just fed up. He had seen enough and voiced his opinion, a perfectly legal thing. Him being taken off the force for speaking out against people like him being murdered is unacceptable in today's society. Also, being called a racist by anyone for these remarks is not only disgusting, but also factually incorrect. Nowhere in his remarks did he say white people are superior to any other race. If you support our cops and chief door, share this post and expose the lies and hatred our brave men and women in blue are facing.